There are a mm -hmm. couple of youth leaders around him, but I have meetings with since yesterday, trying to quell them down all this protest. Let me talk. So the protest is real. Talking to this protest, I would like to, one thing we don't know if the protest is real, because talking about the protest, protest is a very healthy thing in any society. Protest is just a way of, t of telling the government that you are lacking in this area. Please check this area out and let us do something about this area. So protest is welcomed by any 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 good government will welcome any any proper protest. Okay, go ahead because in doing a protest, protest is like complaining about something and at the same time providing a solution to that thing. Like this is what you, we want you to do for us concerning this issue. But now this protest is just a different thing. This protest, there's no face to it. So we why are you meeting with we, leaders? We, we don't know and to ask well, what's going on to, because we, we, everybody's not talking about it. And do, 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 do you expect us to be mum about it? We can't, we can't be quiet about it. We need to meet the, meet the stakeholders and uh, talk to them and say, okay, what is going on? Are you the ones doing this protest? Are, is the protest from you? And most of them are saying no, 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 but they are receiving calls. Many calls are coming in for them to join the protest. So, okay. But now, this protest, like I said, I don't And they didn't say who is calling them? No, they mentioned several names, but I don't want to be name dropping on, on <laughs> the potential names people are calling them from both abroad and here. Yeah, people are calling them abroad, people that try to run politics about nine abroad after they've called them. So, um, protest, like I said, is an healthy thing for any, for any any government to have a protest. But this protest, like I'm saying, there is no face to it. Who is running the protest? Is it youth in parliament? Is it the? Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Who's Everybody calling says it? they're not the ones calling. You, you see, so that's the recipe for what for destruction. That's what you believe. That once there's nobody calling it, that's what it is. It becomes a recipe for destruction because at the end of the day, it's faceless. So if anything happens, the, who, who are we going to hold responsible? Who are we going to talk to? Mm. I think that's where the problem who, who, is. Who would, who would we you relate say, to? You say if anything happens, who are we going to hold responsible? responsible. Uh, in other words, you know, anything can happen and it was seen that the government should be looking for scapegoats. Not scapegoats. Like hold responsible. Not, uh, like, if anything happens, that does, does not mean bad thing. If anything else happens at all. Even, even, if, even if the government wants to, wants to respond, who would, who would the government respond to? Hmm. Do you think, I mean, when you look at what happened... For example, in NSAS... Yes. When I, I came out just one day in that NSAS, and I, went, I didn't come out anymore. You came out? Just a day, yeah. Yeah. Because it's not far from my house. In Lekki. I came out just one day, I didn't come out anymore. Because now, who, who is... What are we asking for? What were you asking you, for You said five for out? five. What I was asking for was... Me, I didn't ask for local government autonomy. I've always been an advocate for local government autonomy since the first day I stepped into office. Because I realized that local government is the, is, the, is the lowest arm of government, and yet the strongest. So you had that as your own agenda? Yes. To add to the to answer? Add, but, but they, they had nobody, nobody to speak to. They, they said, no leader, were there. No, nobody to speak to. There was no agenda. They said five for five, very vague five things. Uh, and, and SARS, uh, we don't want SARS anymore. We want re reform of this thing. Those are very vague. These are things that they can tell you we've done. With no proof to show that it has been done. It can be done theoretically. And you're okay with heard. No, don't ask for that. Ask for something tangible, something that you can hold on to. And that's the same thing we're talking about this, this protest now. May I welcome protests? I don't want to join them in the protest. Let's go and protest. Because are people not really hungry? People are really hungry. People are really, definitely people are. So people want to protest. But what are we protesting for? You say bad governance. Bad governance is too vague. A, a lot of, script, uh, a lot of um, 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 scriptural elements will use that as an, as, as an avenue to loot and do bad things. And we don't want that. Imagine in 2012, in 2012, even the present um, administration now, I told you them, was we, we led the protest in 2012, Occupy Nigeria. It was really well organized. Every time you, you see on Twitter, everybody meets at this place. Let all of us in Lagos, they, they had meeting areas. Then those that they have meeting areas, they tell you, come in front of your house and occupy the front of your house. Don't go far. But this one is just saying, let us not start working. Let's just start moving. Let's just start doing. You have to plan Have you it. received messages from those people who are people who are supposed to be planning the protest? Plenty. You, you've sent messages from Plenty them? messages. You have? Plenty messages just from anonymous people. Asking you to join the protest? Plenty anonymous messages. If you try to call the numbers, numbers back, they don't go. It's interesting you say that because, I mean, it would seem that during the NSAS protest, people were saying that one of the reasons why they did not have any leader was because they didn't want their leaders to be compromised. They feared that their leaders could be And I told them, get, get a, a college of leadership, a college of leadership, choose like seven people, make, make it an odd number so that they can be voting. If it's even number, you always have maybe loggerheads, make it like three, three, three leaders, five leaders or seven leaders. So when you want to vote on something, you can vote for three or, or something, get leader, don't get one person. If, if that's what you're afraid of, get a, a, a college of leadership. Don't make it one person.
look for one person. We, we have we have six zones. You can put one person from each zone. You can keep you can make it like that. Okay, one person from each zone. One person from each zone. One person, one person, one prominent person. One prominent from each zone. Put them together. People that you can trust. You only trust people like the likes of them. I say, yes, for those girls, or that girl, that lady, that lady, that lady that is always up front and doing wonderful things. They trust her now. Put that, put that there. Look for somebody else. If it's the Obi people, put your put that. put your 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 your. Who are you? Put somebody. Anyone? Put anybody you want to put there. But there must be a leadership. There must be a face. If there's no face, people people outside will use the, that opportunity to destroy the protest. It's not become like NSAS when they came. Everybody came up for a genuine reason. By the end of the day, it not turned out something, something else. Yeah, but the, go the government, government now had some, something to leverage on. Yeah, but there was a chain of events that made that turn to something else. Mm -hmm. I, I, sometimes, I think when government officials talk about, uh, you know, how NSAS became something else, they forget government's role in, in how that protest became something else. Mm -hmm. um, what was uh, government's role now became something else? I, should I tell you? Yeah, 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 I yeah, thought yeah, you yeah, were there. You said you, you came I, out. I, just for a day, you, you, day. Exactly. You said you came out mm -hmm. for a day. And the day you and came they allowed out, them, they, wasn't they, it peaceful? It was peaceful all through. So what happened? How did it become violent? It became violent because those elements came in. There was no leadership. Nobody could control the people. If, the, if, if, if there was a, 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 a college of leadership, and they came out and said, OK, now we're supposed to the government we, are, we, we the protest is okay. See, three, three, three or four days ago, in what country was that? They, they blocked the airport of one country. I immediately they finished their protest. All of them left the airport, and the airport started walking back. Mm. But do you recall the events of the night of October the twentieth, twenty twenty? Such, such, such a sad day. Exactly. So, such if, a sad day in the life of Nigerians. So, such if a sad we day recall that youth, particular day, very we, sad. is that that day that we're, we're remembering mm -hmm. is what's making us say that this protest should be done properly. Because of what we are remembering, that, 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 that memory of, of that day, so we can say that this protest, there's not, see Kenya, have you seen the aftermath? We don't want that. We're a country that we're, we're still complaining that things are, not, things are not going well. Now imagine how, how that will drag us back.